Okay, today's video is going to be on how to turn an image into a sketch in Photoshop. I found like, an, you know, for the laser cutting or if you just want a sketch. But it works well for laser cutting as well. So you just imported your image. You go to an adjustment layer and do a black and white adjustment layer. And then click back on your image again and drag it down so you get a duplicate or you can right click and just duplicate the layer there next thing you're going to do is the one that you duplicated the one that's above you go on it and press ctrl and i to invert the image and then on your blending mode up here where it's normal turn it to color dodge and then come up to filter blur guardian blur and now you can mess around with this a bit to kind of get you know the partial effect that you want you can see the more you slide it up the kind of more the detail comes back if you bring it all the way you end up back with the original image so it's a little bit of a matter of just messing around with this each image is going to be different so this one i'm going to go yeah around 6.6 .6 and say okay so really that now is already you know good enough to laser oh one thing if i zoom in now i think you'll see there's a little bit of a gray haze all around it one way you can get rid of that is on on the bottom layer hover over where the image is and hold down control and click on the image and it will give you your image cut out again and then you can just go to select inverse and then press delete and it'll delete all that out you see it disappear there so yeah it's good you know it would laser good at that i'm just going to show you a way that you can even enhance that so you get your original layer again and duplicate it and put it above and duplicate another one as well so now you've got two extra copies press ctrl and i again on the top one go down to vivid light and then go to filter blur gaussian blur again and this one you want quite low just so it's just a little bit of an outline there because this is just sharpen it up so i'm going to go a little bit more than that i'll see how that goes i'm going to say okay so then you hold control and click the layer below so now they're both selected press ctrl and g to group them together and then change pass through to overlay and now you can see if i turn this one off and on you can see how it sharpened it again and you can also see it's given that gray haze again so just make sure to come down the bottom click on that and then go to select inverse and then delete oh make sure you're on the right layer <laughs> So now there's two layers, so I'm going to click on that one and delete, and then click on the one below and delete. That's it. And now you've still got a bit of adjustment on this, so you can come back to this black and white adjustment, and you can still slide these up and down to, you know, change the effect. If there's something like his shirt, if you don't want it showing up like that, you could actually, you know, brighten that up. You can darken down his face. So yeah, you can kind of, you know, move these about to pick how you like the photo to be. And then one last thing you can do, if there's still something that you want to brighten or darken, just click, open one more empty layer, go to edit, fill, fill it with 50% grey, and then turn that layer to overlay. To get rid of this again all you got to do is click the bottom one again and select and inverse it so yeah once it's selected click mask and now press ctrl and i to invert the mask and that will make all that disappear so what you can do with this layer this works on any image or anything it's kind of like dodge and burn with this layer where it's gray you want to make sure you're on the gray side you want to get a brush and you want to have 
your hardness all the way to zero and your flow down to like one to you know five well you just have to test out and see what you think i'm going to actually turn this down a little bit because it makes quite a difference <clears throat> so now on this layer whatever you paint in black is going to get darker so you can see there if i wanted to make his you know eyes make up a bit darker i'll just go over the top of that and you see how it's got darker i do the same on the eyebrows and you can do the same through the hair and it will make you know whatever's not real dark it'll darken it up and then the same if you flip it to white you can lighten areas so if this hair's too dark and you want a bit more you know texture in there you can lighten up some of the darkest areas and you can see how that will change the image <coughs> another thing just quickly before i end this video is you can always mess with the opacities as well so if you get each layer and mess with the opacity so sometimes you know like you can see there i'll turn this top layer off but you can see you know the difference it makes so yeah just remember you know to use your opacity as well and remember to use the black and white adjustment layer because that can really make a difference you see there is eyebrows disappear compared to you know dark so there's plenty of adjustment there so yep just saying to mess up around with if you want to change your image to a sketch in photoshop so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe and i'll put out another video as soon as possible thank you